Um, how does it feel to be a champ, man? How's it, how does that how does that life feel? I mean, obviously, you got to just stop and just think about it sometimes and be like, damn, <laughs> I made it close to where you're at, yeah. but I never even made it to the title shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, sometimes I was starting to wonder if it was ever even going to happen, you know, just having the opportunity. And uh, that's all you can ask for because that's pretty much why we all do this. Obviously, making money is one thing, but that comes with winning the belt. Well, more of it comes with winning the belt. And um, life's been good so far. I mean, obviously, I got the 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 detractors mainly from uh, Russia, but it, it's kind of fascinating to to see the response from them, where they rather have a champion who doesn't know the rules of the sport that he's a champion of, or he's that malicious of a fighter and had every intent to. There was something illegal that he knew was illegal from being told in the back room, right. being told from the, the re- 10 seconds before he, maybe like six seconds before he actually threw the knee and having his coach tell him, yeah, throw the, throw the, they said kick, but for him that was, yeah, throw the knee. So um, <laughs> yeah. it is what it Stupid. is. I know he was starting to come on in that round and uh, it was definitely getting ugly, but rules are there for a reason. I mean, if I was kicking his ass the entire time and then, he throws an illegal knee. You're telling me he gets to keep his belt? I don't really understand that logic, you know? So same thing like any other event. There's rules. You break the rules in such a way where you could be disqualified from the competition. That's what happens. And uh, at the end of the day, we're going to run it back. So hindsight for me, um, I look at it glass half full. And the other side of it, I I get more money, you know? So, yeah. like, I've never had pay-per-view points before. So this would be the first time I actually get to partake in that. It's a big fight. And um, I also get a, a big pay bump as being the, the, the champion now. So um, I'm okay with it. It comes with its perks of yeah. this guy not knowing the rules to his sport, you know? So um, I guess that's the way I could look at it. Glass half full. Like, would I rather not have taken that knee to the head? Yeah, yeah. I think that would have been much better. You know, the ones you don't see usually do the, the worst kind of damage to you. So um yeah this is where i'm at now yeah definitely and then uh he seems kind of like a tough guy to like you know I, I don't like to talk bad about anybody and like you know i keep very political being that i have an interview show more than anything um but it seems like he's yeah. t- tough to deal with on a side note just from everything else that you're having to deal with as far as it being him the one that this happened with and the controversy and everything else but he also seems like it's just a tough guy to like he's, he's kind of like He's not quite like Connor or like Chell or like he's not humorous with it. It's not. It's not like you know, it's, it's just kind of like <laughs> it's just. He's it's just, just kind of an. It old. seems like he's kind of an ass to me. That's this is what I. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just that's how I feel. Yeah, I I get the same read, man. I've met him in Vegas before. We maybe 2019 when I uh, was going to get my wrist fixed and. Uh, the girl Yuna Kaskaya was there too, and she was kind of like the instigator in the situation. And he came in with his camera crew, and he came up to me. He said something like, "Why are you afraid to fight me?" I was like, "Wait, hold on. Who's ranked higher? Who actually beat higher ranked guys?" So it was like, as far as I know, I dictate where we fight. I'm not going to Russia. And uh, she was kind of. It, it, it just got. It, he's just like for me. I like I said before. I just don't think he's a good person, and I, I think. I would have to agree. I think like his jokes come off like they're not really jokes. They're like they have like malicious <laughs> intent and they're not really like Connor. I could laugh at all day long. Sean O'Malley, he's funny. He makes jokes. It's like even if I had to fight a guy like that, I just feel like for him, it's just you just seem like a dude I just would never want to hang out with, you know. Yeah. But maybe that's just him and how they are in Russia. I have no idea. 